Mr. Ed here. Today is May 11th, 2017. And you're right, I'm at the Beehive House and uh, I'm removing the fifth swarm from this year from underneath this house. And I, I kind of like the idea of a, 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 fifth swarm, a fifth swarm from underneath this house instead of a fifth of Jack Daniels, but that's just me. So today I'm going to go ahead and, and you can see the bees there. Let me show you. Here they are right here. They're underneath the plywood. They've only been in here no more than a week. And uh, so I'm going to have to go out and actually remove some of this plywood. I'm going to just cut this part back, expose the bees, and then just start putting it in the box. By the grace of God, these girls right here, they're going to become Abby honeybees. It's time to wrangle. Before I start doing the cutout, let me just show you where our bees are. They're all clustered right here, but they come back underneath the plywood right here. So this is the section of plywood that I'm going to cut out. And right now they appear to be very gentle. I'm not going to smoke or anything. I'm just going to go ahead and cut it out and start looking at what we got. And hopefully they haven't built too much comb up in there. And these girls be going in the box. All right. Where's Wreck-It Ralph when you need him? Oh yeah, that's right. He's on the Rhine River in Germany right now. I sprayed him down with sugar water now and you can actually see the comb now. And um, as I went over there, you know they're going to make it hard for you. They built that hive right between the beam right here, so it's on both sides. So I had to go on the other side and uh, block that side up so I wouldn't give them an escape route. But wow, still a beautiful hive. Now it is time to pull some bees. Let's do this thing. She's in there. <laughs> yep, there she is. Sweet Jesus, thank you. <laughs> All right, folks. Look at that, that first big old handful I grabbed. She was in it. Let's see if we can clear out a little, some of them bees to move out of there so you all can see her. She is a big butted girl. Just the way I like them. Oh, look at her right there. 
Oh my God, that is beautiful. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Well, look at that. Oh man. Can't get any nicer than that. This is a, a huge storm, a huge storm. This is probably gonna fill all 10 of these frames up. Look at it. Oh my goodness. All right, let me just finish grabbing these bees. I'm gonna have to try to frame up as much of this uh, new comb as I can. I, I'll be able to get some of it. And uh, let these girls st start getting uh, honed in on this girl right here. Oh my gosh, thank you Jesus. That was a break. All right, let's get some finishing up. I want to show you how many bees are still up in here. I mean, I put a bunch in that box already. But look how many are still up here. My word, it's a lot. that was a big swarm. Man, man. All right, let me take out that piece of comb. Finish grabbing these handfuls. All right, I'll check back after I've got all this stuff cleaned up. How about that sound, folks? Huh? Woo wee! Those bees, that queen is right there. We got them coming down the post right here into our box, and the bees are just up in the air, flying around. Give this stuff about another half an hour and then it's already settled down. We'll check back in. It's been about 20 minutes now and everybody's really out of the cavity. In fact, let me show you the cavity where they were. There's where I cut the comb out, right there. And there are no more bees up in there. But in fact, they're just flying all around the basement down, downstairs right here. They're just, literally, there's thousands of bees flying around. And look at how many bees we have in this box. Huh? What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna, I'm only three miles from the abbey, not even that much. I'm gonna run up to the abbey and grab me another uh, super here so I can close these things up. I will say this. I would have loved to have seen this swarm come in. Oh my gosh, this thing is huge. This thing is huge. I thought the one I cut out yesterday was big. This one, this one fills more than 10 frames. The big, big swarm. All right, I'm gonna grab, uh, go ahead up to the ab and grab you another box. And here's our setup. I had to go get that other box. There were just so many bees. They weren't, they weren't able to get in. I got me another box, put it up on the top. I also changed out my bottom board, the other one, but the screen board, this one is. And uh, here's our queen in her cage right there. I'll just leave this open for this evening. And I'll come back tomorrow. And these girls all are all be in here. Well, that's all I have for you today. Oh, it was a really wonderful catch here. Way bigger than I thought it was. And I am grateful for it. Thanks for watching. Keep on watching, and I'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Red, I'm out of here until the next video, or swarm.